Hello everybody, it's Narrative Tarot. It's like, <laughs> y'all don't need to see back there. <laughs> I'm here with Jupiter, January 2022. So this is going to be for you guys or Sagittarius. It's going to read Sagittarius and the like description and the title and stuff like that. But Jupiter is going to be in parentheses. If you don't know, welcome. I'm Narrative Tarot. I read by planet technically because I'm more interested in astrology when it comes to planets as opposed to the zodiac signs. Like, you know, I can talk to you about zodiac signs, but generally most people are only talking about like their sun sign. Um, so I'm trying to move a little bit beyond that. And for that reason, I read by planet. This is a glare from my laptop. I was like looking up stuff, I've been listening to music, blah blah blah. So, welcome. Uh, yeah, if you're interested in that. So, generally, this falls into two parts. That's four. This is now six. <laughs> two parts. Um, I use like one deck and then another deck for another part. So,. I think the last time I checked, like I was looking at the description of somebody else's video. Uh, it's not even the description, it was kind of like the thumbnail. <laughs> it was kind of like Jupiter is going to be Pisces soon, I guess. Um, and I brought out this deck, which is the Affirmators Tarot. So I'm assuming childhood shit might be coming. Um, or just hopes and dreams and wishes and stuff like that. So for this, I'm using this deck, the Affirmators, the, I was going to say Fountain of Life, that's not how this, that's not what this is called. It's called the Fountain Tarot. And then I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot. If you want to know how I do my tarot decks, because I do assign a planet or planets to them, sometimes aspects, but not all the time, um, then yeah, that's how it goes. Ooh. Are you throwing out your heart? Are you throwing out your heart there? Wow. All right. So some of you guys could be getting over a breakup. Some of you guys could be getting over. Um, ooh, a misstep. So you have the three of swords, and you have the eight of swords under it. So some of you with the eight of wands and the star under that followed by the queen of cups and the hermit some of you guys could be going through like a breakup at this time wow the beginning of the year damn all right <laughs> you got the ace of pentacles though uh this was this was this was established you have the nine of swords before you even start with this we have this is well established high priestess this is not anything you don't know your cups at the bottom you could just want your freedom at this time to be honest it, it's it with the three of cups in the third party situations mm. it's like the third party and nobody ever listens that the third party could be like a job or anything like that it's always like it's, it's some bitch <laughs> some bitch somewhere <laughs> never like their job their preoccupation with money you know, their childhood wounds, their like short man complex, short woman complex. Like, it's never those things. It's always just like that chick that you really don't like to begin with, but you're trying to like make excuses not to like her because she's stealing your man. But that's not true. <laughs> it's like, and honestly, if he was gonna go, like, wouldn't that be great? Like, now you know, you know? I'm not drunk, guys. <laughs> I'm not. I am a happy drunk though. So maybe you're happy drunk too. Maybe you'll be happy when this shit's over, to be honest. We have the High Priestess, the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Swords. This is a long time coming. This isn't anything you don't know. This is not really even a surprise. This is like, it may be a surprise to other people, but it's not really a surprise. Actually, the surprise could be that you've already separated from this person 
and other people are catching up. So other people might be catching up with what you're doing. You may have friends who, hmm, kind of weird. You may have friends who like, y'all all end up in relationships at the same time or y'all all end up breaking up at the same time. There's something with that bond that you might want to explore. You know how people, this is so TMI, but when people have period sinking, um, even though I think doctors don't think that's a real thing. Lived experiences. But anyway, um, for the dudes, I know you like checked out and shit, but whatever. You need to know this. Um but you could be like linking up with that three oh the devil is under that <laughs> all right so the devil is under this three of cups what could be happening is just pay attention to the advice that you get from people pay attention to the advice that you get okay queen of cups let's see from other people and just listen to yourself to be honest with the star card, wow, they came out again. So, some of you guys could have like an Earth Moon or a Scorpio Moon. So, and then you got the Magician. So, I would say for January, don't fall into that trap of New Year, New Me, and you cut everybody off, or like. Um, be weary of being that person that like acts like they're so together and I mean like in a way that is if you break up that you're immediately on to the next and you know the shit that people tell themselves that like when they're really hurt you know what I'm saying like when they're really hurt but they won't admit it you know like It's like you're really hurt and instead of um instead of saying that like there's some toxic like toxic coping mechanisms that come out and your friends i'm not gonna say it will be the death of you but your friends may be the death of things that are really positive like they could be the death of things that are like negative through being encouraging and helping you to move out of your comfort zone and being very honest and offering criticism when needed and like constructive criticism that builds you up but also gets the job done in terms of being clear about what needs to change but there are those friends that we end up having sometimes and sometimes it's a phase of our lives when our lives are teaching us lessons and we're sometimes like getting the lessons you pick up friends who may be really with this star card and this eight of wands very adventurous very outgoing very I'm not to say charming but charismatic and they also have crazy like past and crazy they do crazy things but that craziness is like kind of fun and you have really good memories with them but what I'm saying is kind of um when you start to change up out of that sometimes the craziness is no longer fun it's just crazy and it's destructive and you start to kind of realize like pulling up on somebody at like 35 is not necessarily the best thing anymore or every breakup you go out and you get blackout drunk and you don't remember half the night like is that really a positive thing anymore it's not even like if you get older you should stop restricting this it's like when you're not in that season anymore is basically what I'm saying and so this could be the death but it could just be a dead end like just making sure you're not hitting a dead end with some of the stuff that you're continuing and when you hit a dead end you recognize it as a dead end and you don't persist and try to plow through because that's something that your friends could you know 
can be egging you on about. say watch out for purposeful bad advice um we got the king of pentacles the ten of swords the knight of cups don't take financial advice from some of these people we got the six of pentacles wait and the fool wait wait Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Please wait. <laughs> yeah, the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. And I want to get this. The Seven of Cups. Please wait. Um, you may find... Oops, you may find... Yeah, the Queen of Cups and the Stream. And the Chariot of Swords. You may find at this time, um, with this whole new you new do new hair new this new that you know i'm doing it blah 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 but you may find people who um sense that newness as an energy think of it as a pie and it's a freshly baked pie and everybody wants dips on it what will happen is um people will start um showing you circumstances and facilitating um, energetic exchanges so that you like cut the pie and offer it up to other people but what'll happen is you won't be receiving anything so essentially think about it as giving your energy out for free with nothing in return so because you're in this new year new me you know everything is new um people are coming in they're mingling like i said energetic exchanges be wary of a lot of people selling stuff. Be wary of a lot of people asking um, about your finances. The North Node is going into Taurus. So, like, keep that shit to yourself, to be honest. Because um, the South Node is in taxes, other people's money, death, um, shit like that. The South Node is in that. So... The North Node is in, like, you know, like, your finances and shit like that. But the South Node is in other people's. So, mind your business. Um, <laughs> and also, if you do do that, you may find something you don't want to know. We got the Wheel of Fortune and the Emperor. If you enter any sort of relationship then you need to be honest and open and understanding and everybody needs to know what's going on. You have the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Mind you, emotions this year. You got a spider, you got a rat, a few rats or mice. And you got a, like a motif of like a lion. You got an interesting mix of predator prey type things going on here. And then with the Queen of Cups, I don't know why, but it seems like it's quite murky outside. If you can see, it doesn't seem too great outside. It's, it's not a picture where you see a tsunami coming or anything like that, but I don't know. It don't seem like it's a really calm day outside. It seems like there's some shit going down. So I would say um, every once in a while, stop offering yourself, stop offering stuff, stop putting your energetic, you know, uh, bag out to offer coins to everybody and sit back and observe what comes to you. And with this, Three of Swords and Eight of Swords, what comes to you may not be from the people you expect and that could lead to some disappointment but you'll be able to reevaluate your relationships 
where they're going. And again, it'll be because you're in a certain space and time that wants to move and develop. I want to use these again. Now I'm going to keep these up. And I'm going to use some more. So I'm going to go back to this deck. Good time to go out. It's a great time to go out in the winter. And then the Ace of Coins is still at the bottom. Um, you have the Ace of Wands, you got the Devil, you got the Page of Swords. It's a good time to figure out where you can turn the lights on and off. good enough is good enough if you worked on something good enough to where it's 80% operational you know you're 80% less triggered you know your finances are 80% maybe you can move to a place that's like 20% an area of life that's less and use that light for the rest now you need to be Cognizant that when you shut the door, the devil is scheming to like overtake what has been worked on. But simply revisiting the room every now and then helps, right? So if things are good enough in your relationship, I'm not saying like abandon the shit, but fall into a nice comfortable rhythm check in but maybe turn your attention out to other areas of your life that you need to work on and that do not deserve but well they do deserve it but need more concentrated effort and don't let with the devil there don't let it get stagnant right like i said check in always introduce something new and spark you know things like that but move on to other things came back out again devil and ace of wands and the ace of coins is coming back out so maybe y'all need to focus on your finances child this is me maybe you need to focus on your finances maybe you looking at every other motherfucking place and your finances and really your energy everything goes back to your finances everything shows up in your material world or doesn't depending on what you're going through and the north node is in taurus so if you take nothing away from this, focus on your finances. It will reveal your psyche. I will link, hopefully, the North Node and Taurus video that I did. Anyway, all of that. Your psyche is going to come out in your finances, essentially. And you want to make sure it's as cool as possible, but that you're, like I said, you go to all of those little rooms and the ones that you got to go in there with your little sword and shit like that and fight off with future at, well... I like working with dragons, but a few shit, dragons, a few beasts, and you slay them or whatever, um, and then come back out and go to another room. Make sure when you start new things that you clear the energy. Um, it seems like with the devil constantly showing up here, the energetic cords going from thing to thing to thing will be really... Um, potent in 2022 for some reason so energetic cords that you don't cut that carry over from 2021 or even before then into 2022 and beyond will be amplified in the energy that they send you or the energy that they take so this may be a really interesting year in terms of your energy levels you're going to have to keep them stable But it's because you have a lot of energetic cords. So a lot of cord cutting, a lot of cord cleansing, maybe past lives, shit like that. All right, let's wrap this bitch up. All right, so we're going to go to this one. I haven't used this deck yet. All right. It's the last, last 
<laughs> oh, there's three swords, the hermit, the king of pentacles. Honestly, make money. This is what I said when I was like heartbroken over somebody. I said I wanted to get a handkerchief with like a dollar bill like with dollar bills on it and I was like at least if my heart gets broken I can like dab my eyes with some dollar bills right so <laughs> turn your pain into profit essentially so I'm not gonna say with this page of pinnacles don't avoid um your emotions things like that but also don't avoid what you're what you need to do to like financially get through um, make sure that you are doing the things that you need to to get forward and get ahead in life but if anything does come through that's like really hurtful turn it into something that'll make you money so if that's like a piece of artwork and things like that then go ahead and make it the only thing is is like when you sell it cut the cords right cut the cords and then also make sure that you're not um i don't say publicly broadcasting it that sounds weird but you don't need to make a big stink about the money that you make from it because through your art you could be signaling for someone to come back or energetically signaling somebody to come back for some reason with these two so if you want them back then maybe not make an angry ass song about how fuck you and you weren't this and you ain't shit and then you take them back cause then it's like well you, you, you gonna, you're gonna have to explore the like the dissonance between that you know what I'm saying like you can't constantly complain and then be like yeah but this is great like no um, and so when you make this art know that it's final and know that your emotions that were in there are like final like that's what you really felt and if you don't feel that way don't force your artistic thing because I have like you said I have to make money off of it but if you're gonna make money, put it into put your energy into making something really great, something that's really honest, but not rooted in um, revenge. Something that's really honest, as in like you're getting your emotions out, and you're not aiming to get back at them, um, and you're very kind of a little bit distanced from the event. This is like so like what the fuck? It's like so contradictory a little more distance from the event so that you're clear about what you want to create um and then it's a little bit more pure because you can reflect really reflect on what you want it'll come across as less fully in the moment and more resonant with who you are through having let it go for a while yeah all right thanks for watching guys i hope that you enjoyed this sagittarius or jupiter whichever one and yeah i'll talk to you guys in the future bye <laughs>